For decades, drug kingpins made millions trafficking heroin, opium, and cannabis through Thailand. In response, Thailand's law became tough. So tough, its prison is bursting from the seams. But there has been an astounding change in policy. Even ministers are extolling the virtues of cannabis. On June 9, t h Thailand became the first country in Asia and only the third in the world after Canada and Uruguay to decriminalize cannabis nationwide. The Thai government is pushing for cannabis to become the new cash crop, but has insisted that it was not legalizing recreational pot use. The official goal is for Thailand to get a head start on its neighbors in winning a large slice of the lucrative market for health treatments using cannabis derivatives, in particular the milder compound CBD. But there is another motive: to reduce overcrowding in some of the world's most overcrowded jails. Even a decade ago, cannabis wasn't something openly discussed in Thailand. Today, however, the green herb has become more accepted in the kingdom. But did you know that for centuries cannabis was completely legal in Thailand? It wasn't until the 20th century that the herb started gaining a bad rep in the mainstream. So, in order to better understand the country's relationship with the herb, let's look at the history of marijuana in Thailand. The first historical record of cannabis consumption dates back to the era of King Narai the Great, during the Ayutthaya Kingdom. Back then, cannabis was completely legal and was used medically as well as recreationally. There were records of smoking apparatuses as well at least 91 traditional medicines with cannabis in the formula. Through the reign of King Rama V, weed was completely legal. Cannabis was even believed to be used in food. The best-known example of this is probably boat noodle soup or k u t i a r u a This changed in 1934 when the Cannabis Act banned the possession, sale, and the use of the herb. Then, in the 60s, Uncle Sam rolled around, propelling Thailand's association with the herb to the international spotlight. The kingdom's modern drug policy can be directly traced to the Vietnam War between 1955 and 1975, when Thailand hosted American military bases. It was also the main R&R, or known as rest and recuperation, destination for U.S. soldiers. U.S. troops in Vietnam were introduced to potent opiates and marijuana for the first time. Reports indicate that American soldiers began smoking soon after their arrival. Though there is no official data on weed consumption by American soldiers in Thailand. There is evidence that Thai entrepreneurs cater to the needs of vacationing soldiers who have acquired a taste for the herb in neighboring Vietnam. By the 1960s, the marijuana industry exploded, and cheap pot became as readily available as beer. In fact, the word "bong," which has become a regular part of the stono vocabulary today, is believed to have derived from the Thai word "bong," used to describe wooden pipe. Tube or container made from a bamboo stem. Under Thailand's 1934 Marijuana Act, penalties for possession could not exceed six months in prison. However, American officials criticized it for being too tolerant, so the penalty was then toughened in the 70s with the passing of several acts regarding narcotics. By the 1980s, Thailand had become one of the leading exporters of the plant, much to the distress of the U.S. government, who eventually convinced the kingdom to partner with them in a war against marijuana. Although this largely ended the illegal trafficking between the two countries, Thai drug users replaced cannabis with meth, which is today responsible for 90% of the nation's drug arrests. Now back to the present situation of cannabis in Thailand. The topic of cannabis has been of interest in Thailand for years. In 2018, Thailand approved the use of medical marijuana, making it the first country in Southeast Asia to do so. So, what does this mean for tourists who are interested in planning a trip to Thailand? Will it be a weed wonderland like Amsterdam? Probably not. What are the current laws and regulations around cannabis in Thailand at the moment? We spoke with cannabis industry leaders to get their opinion on the matter. So again, you know, it's new, June 9th, 6 9 You know, everything got legalized. Um, it was a little bit hazy. 
you know, as we all know, gray. Um, so, you know, what we always try to, to, to keep in mind is that we took reference from California um, in setting things up. So we, we, we did a lot of things a little bit more um, that takes a little bit more time. Like, for example, making sure that we have the doctors on staff, making sure that we're following all the rules, whatever merchandise or, or uh, products that we sell are 100 percent legal. And so that part of it was was quite um, tasked, uh, difficult. Um, um, and then the actual development of the brand again, you know, for us, it was like we really wanted to develop brands because we knew that the two most important things were um, number one uh, was the quality of your product and then how the demographic, how the people, how how the consumer kind of relates to that brand. So, you know, if you were to ask me, yeah, it was quite difficult because <laughs> we took all those steps. Um, how easy could it be? It could be super easy. You, you, you rent a, a closet uh, on some corner soy and you put them on the counter and you sell it that way. That's what they're doing. So it can be as hard as the first one and as easy as just setting up a counter on the street, unfortunately. But hopefully with these new laws, um, we'll get rid of, uh, you know, those folks that don't have the proper licenses, don't do the COAs and the testing on the bud and making sure that it's safe for consumption. The law. <laughs> Pretty much the law. You know, here in Thailand, if you're growing indoor, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You, an indoor environment is an indoor environment, and you can create that so that you can grow cannabis. You can grow cannabis on the moon if you, can put the, if you have the right environment. Um, outdoors, uh, here in Thailand, you know, this is a lush jungle. Things grow very, very well here in Thailand. Um, cannabis being one of those things that grow very well. A lot of people think that you can only grow like the Thai strains and stuff and that the Indicas won't really grow well here, but that's not true at all. Um, I think during certain seasons here, we have some of the best growing environments in the entire world. Um, I've grown Indicas, Sativas, I've grown everything under the sun right here in Thailand. Um, so it's a great environment to grow. Um, bugs can be an issue here in Thailand. We're, we're, we're constantly battling bugs, um, but you know, we're still creating great product and uh, yeah. Well, the future, you know, I have every confidence in the government, believe it or not, uh, that they'll, they will eventually figure it out. You know, all the benefits that we saw in California um, all the benefits uh, that we saw in other places, you know, around the world that have legalized uh, cannabis. Um, it's, it's really, it's benefited the society in many different ways. And first of all, in health uh, and wellness. Um, and then the second part of it is for the, the obviously the taxation um, aspect of it. And, you know, not having the law enforcement, not paying for the prisoners, you know, everything that's associated with illegal cannabis um, is eliminated. That's, that's, that's eliminating billions of dollars or millions of dollars or hundreds of millions of dollars on um, enforcing it. And then on the other side, they're going to make billions, millions, hundreds of millions on the taxation and the regulation part of it. Needless to say, you know, we're talking about responsible um, medical tourism coming to Thailand to use cannabis as something that can help them um, in their health and health benefits basically so they want to consume it legally they want to see how it can benefit them you know a lot of these people around the world they can't get help that they need for the medical cannabis so they're forced to take the pharmaceutical drugs and that's how i see you know it helping the country in the future and in regards to you know how does the business and the commercial side uh, look is that it's it's going to be it's 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 a billion dollar business there's so many avenues that like haven't even touched on in medicine and products um just there's a whole myriad of businesses that support simple business that i it's it's a huge it's a it's it's an amazing future is what i can say very interesting very excited
And now you know about the history of cannabis in Thailand and are up to date with the current laws and regulations around it. However, it remains to be seen if there will be more changes or updates by the government on this topic in the near future.